not, this is for the doomers. You guys ever see that meme or the, the joke comparing how, talking about how music is degenerating, you to, going to total garbage, you know, and it, it compares and contrasts like Stairway to Heaven, the lyrics, or uh, Bohemian Rhapsody. Is this the real life? Is this just fantasy? Contrasted with Umbrella by Rihanna. You know, Ella, Ella, Ella. And they're like, see, look, modern stuff is garbage. And uh, I, this seems like, it seems like such a minor thing, but I think it's a, it's a microcosm of a much broader concern and argument that people have about the the degeneration of the modern age, sort of the, the fallenness of the world, to put it in Christian theological terms, which is far more pervasive than people imagine. And it's trivially easy, if you prime yourself to look for them, to find songs of as great, if not greater, um, lyrical depth and ingenuity. Um, I was just humming to myself uh, Where Soul Meets Body by Death Cab for Cutie, which I would argue is probably lyrically superior to Stairway of, to Heaven, in, in my humble opinion. Not only because it isn't plagiarized either, uh, as it happens, for people who want to deify the past in that way. Um, and it's trivially easy to go back in time to the exact same era and find songs which are not just lyrically less complex and less interesting than Umbrella by Rianne, but also musically inferior. For those of you who haven't seen the skit about What's New Pussycat, played seven times and interrupted by one, it's not unusual followed by seven more What's New Pussycat. You owe it to yourself to, to search that on YouTube. Um, not just lyrically, but musically abortions of songs, <laughs> which is what makes it so universally funny that someone could put that in a skit to millions and millions of views and likes. It's that annoying, right? And of course, it's all petty and amusing to talk about this in terms of music, but I think there's, if Nietzsche is correct, music has a relationship with the integrity, depth, beauty, and vitality of the culture that creates it. And of course, there's degenerate music today. I, I don't mean degenerate in the, like, modern political sense, but in the, in the becoming less deep, becoming... Um, you, you know, more uh, broader and shallower, regressing in, in complexity and um, connection with the past. But I think um, th there's a lack of context to this. And my favorite thing to bring up on the subject uh, goes back to uh, Homer and, and Hesiod, interestingly. Um, in Hesiod's Works and Days, Hesiod talks about the generations of men, the golden generation, the silver generation, a bronze, a nameless, and an iron generation, and how the greatness of men recedes with time, but the, this cycles. And I don't think, um, I, I mean, the way that people talk about how things are worse now than they were in the past is exactly the same way that Hesiod talks about how he wishes he had been born, you know, in three or four generations back. And of course, in Homer's Iliad, we see, um, and again, for context, this is a story written 2,800 years ago about an event that happened 3,200 years ago. And in this event, we have F F Nestor, I'm sorry, not Phoenix, Nestor, also Phoenix, interesting, later on, but Nestor talking about how uh, when Achilles and Agamemnon start fighting, this old man comes up and says, listen here, you two rapscallions. 
you aren't half the soldiers of the men that I fought with. Those was a greater generation back in my day. And, and it was the exact same sentiment of the superiority of the past 3,200 years ago. The idea that, um, you know, we've become, you would have to believe that nobility of character and depth of, of spirit are so disconnected from genetic success that we've been enduring 3,200 years of dysgenics and cultural regression, even as our, you know, engineering and our mathematics and our language and literature has been evolving, expanding, deepening, and broadening. And of course, there's some regression too. But um, for people who look around and think we're in clown world, we're at the end of the times, this is, everything is upside down world. Um, and I mean, just look at the music, man. It's nothing like it used to be. Consider if maybe you've been looking at the world through a cynical and pessimistic lens. And if perhaps the problem is not with the world, but with the glasses through which you're viewing it. <laughs>